Okay, let's talk about this. All right, so, talk, talk, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, girl. This is kind of relevant. Ness, right. Ness gets bodied in this matchup. You know what Lucas has? He has air speed. He has genuine mobility. And he also has a real projectile in the form of PK fire. So I think HD Knights can actually comfortably pressure D-Dog without actually having to commit in, to really aggressive jump-ins. And with that being said, HD Knights also can cross up shield really safely with falling neutral air and just, you know, really, really whittle down Steve's shield. Yeah. Other than up tilt, Steve really has nothing that hits really behind him. Yep. Or like from ground. Yeah, I've got the gun. And, you know, up tilt's obviously just not going to come out immediately. Tries to find that neutral air into forward air follow up, but look how well HD Knights is keeping D Dog out. Yeah, D Dog. Just remember, we just praised D Dog on like how great they were doing, and HD Knights. Oh no. <laughs> Do you think um, HD Knights went Lucas because of like previous times they played? You did say they're both from Saturn Island. And there is like a few brackets out there, so. Well, um, yeah, it's actually it's possible that these two have played each other like quite a bit before, especially like with some uh, grind sessions that I know Staten Island loves having uh, yeah. for themselves. But D Dog maybe getting a little bit too aggressive there, pressing in the wrong way. So D Dog has already recovered onto the stage with a high mind coat twice. I want to see HD Knights jump and fall it in because if you space that just right, you can a either extend the hitbox on the mind coat or just hit Steve's head poking above it. Oh, get frozen. Get frozen, but a really, really good mash out is going to be able to help them in time. I like that HG Knights didn't commit to anything too laggy because honestly, Steve Upby has like no end lag. All right, now opting to use the gold, and they're going to get diamond pretty soon. They just got it. So, Stock 2 is definitely going to have diamond on deck if it's not going to be used right now. But HD Knight just needs to be able to close out the stock. Truly, any aerial, one nicely spaced side B as well, or one ledge trap. Look how long they're stalling at the edge of the stage, able yeah. to get past the multi hits of down smash and kept them safe. Uh, safe. But HD Knight's cleaning it up with a parry up tilt. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dash back up smash. Not gonna take it right there. But that was such a steep classic. Yeah, dash back up smash is what Steve does. Oh, great fight out of the corner. Doesn't find the double jump, cancels there though. And as a result, HD Knight's just back in the corner. Yeah, and my carding out, out just close the stock. And you already see, looped into the command grab of my cart. And I like the uses of the cart just for like recovery options. I feel like um, D Dog keeps on consistently rolling in. Really good angle on upbeat, just able to space that just right. And as a result, HD Knight's back onto the stage. All right, and yeah, it's, it's getting caught right here. But Luke is such a good recovery. He, yeah. Your boy Ness could not make that back. He could. If, if Ness had double jump, he could. Uh, <laughs> but you know, Lucas doesn't get body blocked. Man, it's tough out here. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys let him struggle. Oh, uh, and, and there it is. Those tools are starting to come into play. This is starting to get a little bit dangerous for HD Knights. So they just have to make sure that their keep away game is on point. We're starting to also see D-Dog use side B almost like a projectile. Uh, just like hitting HD Knights from mid range uh, as they keep pressing these buttons. Yeah, and you already see another diamond on deck. So the third stock most likely going to have diamond in this case. So diamond for at least another stock is definitely mm -hmm. scary. If I was HD Knight, but yeah. nah, that's just the game you gotta play with, with Steve. But HD Knight is doing a really good job of whittling away D Dog's Island, not giving them a chance to be able to get any more. No out of a corner options, and just like that, able to stuff out the jump with a corner. That was just really good corner pressure from HD Knights. Yeah. Okay, just able to get rid of all three. Mm hmm. Fine. All right. Th those jump mine codes have been. Oh! Oh no! Oh, no what jump? was that? No jump? No, no jump. You maybe just want to press up and then just got another big PK fire instead. But you know, Itchy Knights is just spacing and picking really good places uh, to be going through side B like that. Wow. All right. I haven't seen that Lucas combo since Smash 4, man. <laughs> oh, and do the big oh, Steve the combos loops. now. Already 76 for you. Oh! What? Man, that was his game. That yeah. was Itchy Knights' game. He was doing so good. But D Dog does the I smash our lights. We saw it against like John Numbers. We saw it at Fusion. <sighs> what do you do here? You get strung along. Now you put into the corner. You don't overextend. That, like that. hit? Yeah. That hit? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow, slow your low pop, champ. Hold on. I want, I want to see that one more time. I want y'all to see from exactly what distance this hit. 
Yeah. 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 This is this is hitting Lucas. Yeah. Yeah. That's hitting Lucas. Look, he puts his arm forward. He, he does a little arm forward. Man. That makes sense. I understand. I understand it too. I'm just upset that Steve's F smash is actually that big. Like, I get it conceptually. Doesn't mean I have to be okay with it. Um, oh. oh. <laughs> that's kind of cute. I wanted, I wanted to see a yeah. Pikachu follow up, but that was, that was pretty cute in concept. Yeah. And again, I feel like one of D Dog's biggest struggles is getting close enough to do those jab up tilt combos because that's usually a guaranteed 50% from Zero. And as Steve, if you're not finding that, you, it's it's difficult to get opponent uh, at a high enough percent to where you can edge guard them. Yeah, no, it definitely does get difficult, and I do like the PK freeze to get rid of all the blocks and just force. It's efficient. Even though through. PK freeze is like not the fastest move, it's big enough to like hit everything at once. Yeah. So it'll be faster than going and swinging at everything. Oh but my god, he carried him off yep. stage. He just scooped him up. You ever got spiked through the center stage? He dragged him with him. He was like, yeah, let's go for the ride, baby. All right, 69% done on you, and you're on your first stock. You're, you're kind of chilling against Steve because he doesn't even have diamond or gold yet. Yeah, but three iron on deck. There's still going to be three more jump my card, so you just have to get in close enough before he gets any more. Throw him off stage and try to whittle, whittle them down. All right. Oh, yeah, down smash. He's on a platform technically when he's on that anvil, so... Can't just straight up run up, grab him with Lucas' yep. height. Yeah, some grabs would be able to reach like that, but definitely not Lucas's yeah. in that kind of a play. So this time you see HD Knight trying to mix up his options a little bit. I like the idea to go for the PK fire there. He tried to sneak it under the lowest block. Um, yeah, like he's doing right now. Yep. He's doing a little peeky boo like. PK boo. <laughs> <laughs> My puns are great. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, same situation again on how he lost the previous stock. But so, at least this time he has a lead and more stocks to play with. I don't know, like, if he was going through the back of the, he should have committed all the way and just actually tried to hit C. But at the end, he was like, ah, I'm going to fade back. So that hitbox no longer does anything, but F Smash would have hit either way. So maybe he wanted to, like, hold, he wants to hold forward on his punches a little bit more. Yeah. All right. Just... Now, both players are so wary. D Dog's down, so he doesn't want to take any yep. more percent. And. Knight just doesn't want to die to any shenanigans. And a fair to the face, not going to take it just yet. Yeah, he ended up getting the bounce there. Oh, just snaking him along. Is he going to be able to find it out, Smash? Yes, he is. That was just such good whittling down of resources from HD Knights. Just put the dog into a position where they didn't have any other options yeah. and, and found the kill. But got to say, uh, D Dog is struggling to find these big follow ups on Lucas. Yeah, no, it's looking really hard. And using the PK fire to get to the other side. I'll try to get the spike right there. And I like to use the PK fire for just the movement tools. So I'm not sure about that choice. D Dog, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. but before we saw D Dog, like get HD Knights in a corner, and I was like, nah, I'm actually getting grease hoaxes. I'm not even gonna try to ledge trap you here. The biggest vulnerability for Ness and Lucas is how do they get off of the corner and how do they get off of the ledge? So you have to make sure to really truly. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh. Try to get away with it a fourth time. He's got to be careful. HG Knights is honestly just playing with, you know, he's, he's playing with fire uh, in, in those kinds of places. So, <gasps> okay, I like that mix yet. up. Oh, just hitting through the block, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can't do that too close. Well, great positioning from HD Knights. Steve does not have any air speed to be able to get close in and off on Lucas for like a rising approaching forward. Area. So, HG Knights just waited and spaced a little bit back. No oh, iron on deck. This is really, really dangerous. You have no getaway options. You have no stalling with Anvil. Only one iron. You have to make the most out of it here. Okay, not just yet. Don't land into a out smash. Look at those landing mix-ups with a big of a uh, PK fire and then just mixing up with directional air dodge as yeah. well. Okay. No, no. is that going to be it? Yeah, that yeah. is going to be it. Uh, I feel like both of those games were so doable for HD Knights too. Um, yeah, you saw D Dog run out of resources and was just started fishing for. It. Yep. In in this place, I just feel like there might have been a better option than just committing to something like a dash grab. Because well, that's... the dash grab would have killed. At that moment. Yeah. But yeah, Lucas had the, enough reach. Yeah. At that moment, right there, he did enough weave around and 
just mm-hmm. got just got caught with a dash back F smash. Yeah. Or dash forward F smash. 